Hello, testing. My name is Claire, and I am a senior. I belong to Central High School. This poem is titled, My Real Voice. She is the ultimate mask. Not one of fabric, sores, or itchy plastic, no. She is the one who's soaking in the sun, greeting good morning, hello, what a bright, beautiful day. If you could use a hand, I'll just be on my way. Meeting her eyes with her own pair of blue lagoons, dressed like a monarch butterfly in late June, speaking in the sweet chirps of the meadowlark, approachable, secure, obsidian solid. I am the voice under the mask, no rhythm or bird song, the decibel and frequency that never get along, sentences stuck on a sinusoidal wave, always looking to your face's side, those frozen lakes are my own set of eyes, easily melted by that punishing sun, ice breaking at city simple noises. Your beautiful day is my sensory nightmare. My inner sunshine is bright enough. Emotions no one can tell, eclipsed by my sedimentary face. Unapproachable, confusing, glacier rigid. So now she's speaking normally. Shining silver dollar, waterfalls of copper discs, wind blowing bills into her face, no stopping this monetary tsunami. She's acting for a salary, but really acting for a living. And now the cost has surpassed her income, debt with an infinite interest rate no economics could repair. I am the voice my late loved ones no longer have the chance to hear, buried beneath subtle rejections and fake expressions for over 18 years. She didn't mean to lie. Following your rules, she only meant to thrive. I do not chirp like a meadowlark, but my head swivels and tilts like one. Never ugly nor attractive, faces come to me in colors and adjectives. Ask me how I see yours, I guarantee it's something beautiful. There is power in standing with my T-Rex curled arms. My recall and interest in November 5th in 2020. My indifference to milestones but joy in the mundane. Staring blankly at scholarships, ecstatic at the doodles you wrote in my, new book, my notebook. My voice is atypical, otherworldly, ethereal, but she is less confusing than her real voice, so less people end up hearing.